Hey, I'm Matt, and I'm going to uh, show you how to make a time-lapse video using uh, still images. Uh, time-lapse is a technique that basically uh, you capture the, the frames for the video at a rate much slower than the rate that they're going to be played back, so uh, the time will appear to lapse uh, in the final product. And this has been traditionally used to, uh, to show things such as uh, plants growing or flowers opening, people walking around a city, and uh, things like cloudscapes, which is what we're going to do today. Um, the equipment you're going to need for this are obviously uh, a still camera, and I am using the Canon 5D Mark II today. And you're also going to need uh, something called an intervalometer, which is this right here. And the intervalometer allows you to uh, have the camera to take images continuously over time. And you can set a designated interval uh, for, the, for the camera to take an image. So basically, you can have it take a, take a picture every 10 seconds or every 30 seconds or every minute or every 2 seconds. Whatever you whatever you choose, you just kind of dial it in here on the intervalometer, and it can. Here we go, and you can change the frequency. I had it set at 18 uh, for shooting the video today. And what this does is you're gonna have to have a camera that has a port that you can plug the intervalometer in. It's right here on the side, and basically you just plug this little guy in and you're set to go. Uh, you're also going to need some sort of tripod to stabilize your camera because you don't want any movement whatsoever. Now, what are you going to do to set up the camera? Um, you're going to want to shoot everything in full manual mode. And the reason for this is uh, if you set if you have an automatic focus or if you have uh, have the camera in auto mode, the the settings and the exposure can change. And so if you have the focus set on uh, you know a tree or something that's way off in the distance, and one of the next images you've got something that's much closer to the camera, it'll focus in on that, and you'll lose the the, the focus will change, and the images won't stitch together in a way that appears natural, like uh, like we want it to in our video. So basically, you want to figure out what exposure you want, set that on on manual mode, and lock it in. You also want to take your camera off of uh, from autofocus and put it onto manual here on the side and mount it on your tripod set up the intervalometer and let it go so um, I'm gonna go outside now we're gonna set up the camera on the tripod and uh, take some images here's our setup outside we've got the camera uh, mounted on the tripod and we've got our intervalometer I have it set to take an image once every 18 seconds so we're gonna let this little guy run for a few hours Okay, we've got all our uh, images out of the camera, and we're ready to assemble them to make the time-lapse video. And the way we're going to do that is to come down here to um, QuickTime Player, and we will go to File, and what you want to do is come down here and select Open Image Sequence. And this is going to allow us to stitch all the images together and make a video. So what it will do, you want to select the uh, the first image that you want to have as part of the time-lapse video and you don't need to select the last one or whatever it's just going to run uh, sequentially through all your images and assemble them into a video so we're going to go ahead and open that you can click the frame rate here and uh, that just depends on what your needs are but we're just going to do 24 frames per second and click OK and it takes a few moments here for it to open up and what we're going to get is a window that will allow us to view the movie now this is just to watch it right now if you actually want to um, have it as a, as a movie file or something that you can use to um, to make another to put it in another movie or to put on the web or something you're going to want to come over here to file and export the movie and give it a name so we'll just call this clouds and save it to our desktop and then I'm not actually gonna oh also down here it will give you some options that you can choose from depending on your needs but I'm not actually gonna save it because it takes a little while to assemble so we'll just close out of this and um, 
I've already exported it earlier today and let's just watch it quick, quickly it'll show us what the actual final result was of all our still images that have been made into a time-lapse video and you can see these clouds just billowing across the sky which is kinda cool so that's how it's done um, I hope you have enjoyed this and can put this new knowledge to good use